All right, you'll take the two files that you had downloaded from uh, the website that I gave you, and uh, you'll see the Audacity here with the little headphones logo. We'll double click on that. I'll bring that over. Okay, and we'll run this if this pops up. Uh, other monitor, sorry. Let's go to the other monitor. Just kind of do what's logical here. Hit OK, Next, Next. Uh, this is the program file directory. You'll need to make note of that because we'll be going back there later. Um, I like the desktop icon. It makes it easy to find. Uh, we'll go ahead and install this. Hit next here for the uh, licensing stuff. Uh, there you go. Put the uh, icon where I can actually show you. I don't want to launch Audacity right now, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, and then I'll click finish. Okay, next up here is to get the FFmpeg importer in here. It has all these files in here. This is it. It does. Um, we'll need to make a folder. Right click, go to new, folder, uh, name it whatever you like. I'm just naming mine FFmpeg. Okay, now we'll open up the zip file again so you can see all these wonderful files in here. Highlight them all. Well, I gotta find my desktop one. There we go. I get where I can get to it. Okay, and just drop them in there. And that'll just copy all those files from that archive into that folder. Let's see. Now it's done copying. We'll go ahead and close that. And you can see that everything's in there. Um, all these files. Now I'll right click on that. And I want to cut this because I don't really want it living on my desktop. I'm going to pull up my computer now. And go to the C drive. We'll go to the program files and you'll see Audacity 1.3 beta Unicode in there. Now you see I have another Audacity folder, just ignore that for now. Okay, I'm going to go to plugins and I'll right click and I will paste. And see it just puts that FFmpeg folder right there and all the files in it just like we want it. Alright, now I can close this. Now we're ready to run Audacity. Uh, I had this because I accidentally uh, had some settings in there that carried over. Um, I don't want this to show again. Uh, I know how to get help. I can click on the help thing at the top. Now we'll go to edit, then preferences. Go to libraries. I've already got it selected here. I've partially gone through this already. And we'll hit locate. Now you see I have a path in there. It's because I've done this before. Uh, for some reason this took me to my DVD. But um, hit browse. Choose My Computer, C Drive, Program Files, Audacity 1.3 Beta, Plugins, and FFmpeg. Now in here what we're looking for is this AV Format 52. And I see it right here, so I'm going to click on that. And when I click on this, everything disappears, but it took it. You can see at the bottom there, the file name changed to AV Format. And I click Open, OK, and now you'll see here, it says the library version. If that information's there, you're all set. Click OK. And now we're ready to actually import a file. So we go import, import, file, uh, audio, sorry. Now I can choose any of my VODs here. Um, if you open one of the other files, I'm not sure what exactly will happen. But I'm going to choose one of the smaller VODs. You see I have a bunch of one gigabyte ones on here. That's just unreasonable. Um, you can see all the different types if you want to filter. Um, FFmpeg opens a lot of stuff, so do that one. Uh, I'm going to open this zero here because it's only uh, 250 megs. And it's going to go ahead and parse this. And eventually, it will finish. I'm certain. There we go. Okay, now you have the entire audio track for that whole segment. You can see it's in stereo. And I can play it, and I can listen to it. You can see the little UV and even moving up the top there. I'm going to select a segment here. I'm going to use my select tool, which is the I beam. Um, this is zoom. I can go ahead and I can zoom in here so I can get a little bit of precision selection going on. I'm going to slide over a little bit so it's not centered. All right. Now I go back to my selection tool and I can precision select where I want. I'm going to go from silence to silence here. Well, kind of silence. Anyway. I can go back and I can hit play if I wanted to. 
but I'm just going to copy. Let's see, we have all these tools here, and you can see them. Uh, like the copy, which is what I'm going to do here because I want to be non destructive. And you'll go to new. And edit, paste. And bam, there you go. That's all it has is just your selection of it now. And as you can see, it looks the same as that, it's that segment right now in its own little window. Uh, let me go back here and I'll close this window because I don't need it anymore and I don't want to save it. And uh, now I have my full selection here. Uh, there's effects you can do. You can raise the volume, change the leveling, pitches, do all kinds of fun stuff, make it sound really long. Uh, generate tones, dial tone, and the uh, tone button presses. This right here uh, stereo track to mono, you can convert to a, a mono track. Uh, Maybe useful for some things. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. If you go to uh, uh, export, click on that. Um, you want to choose where you want to send it to. I'm going to send mine to the desktop so I can find it. You can see it defaults to WAV. That's a huge file really don't need it. Um, MP3 uh, requires the lame filter, you know, you probably don't have that one. Um, again, Wave. Um, WMA is good, it comes with the FFmpeg, it's the same quality as Wave, supported by almost all the same devices. iPods convert it, the whole deal. I'll name it Scrubs and hit save. Goes through the file saving process and minimize that and you can see there's the scripts WMA on my desktop right there I can click on it comes up in Winamp and you can see the little view moving over there the equalizer and uh, so yeah that's how you pull an audio snippet out from a DVD hope you enjoyed it